to show you how we can create a ribbon chart uh, as you know that we have this chart in um, actually in power bi uh, so if you work with power bi there is a one of the actually charts that we have there so we are going to see that how we can have it uh, the ribbon chart is one of the custom visual but here we are going to see that how we can create it using charty Calculator. So the data that actually I'm going to uh, explain is a data that you can find it from here. So uh, this actually is a data about the um, uh, mobile operating system market share. So you can also change the data over here. You can, for example, say that you want the data uh, from, for example, whatever, from August 2009 to, for example, August 2020, and see the chart over here. And also, there is a place to download the data. So I did that. So I just uh, download the data over here. Uh, click on that. The data as a CSV was actually extracted. But the data is not the same format that we're using. So I uh, got a data like this. So this is the original data that I got. That's a one. So I uh, we have a date. We have different platform hover here. So what I did actually, uh, I did first on pivot. So as you can see that we can have a date. We can have a actually the uh, op the operating systems and we can have a market share for all of them and then uh, I just click here to extract the date so you just uh, kind of click on the transfer and just mention that you want to have the only year so then I get the year here so it's the year to the platform and the share over here then just some changing the data I uh, kind of apply the data to be just from 2014 to 2020 and also uh, uh, then after because uh, as you can see here if you sorted the data you will see that for example for operating system android we have uh, for 2014 we have a couple of uh, rows for that that was for different months but we only want to have for for each platform that was android for example we just want for 2014 and the the operating one so also i change it to the share what i did actually i group it uh, but i use the advanced so if you go to the transfer and group by i here going to group by by two item platform and the date uh, that was actually the year and i'm going to uh, calculate the some of the share over here and also you can change it to the share also so these are the data that i have uh, so as you see that for the each platform for the each year we have some of that so that's the data that we have so the data transformation is not a big deal but i will share it also in the uh, in the link in the description so you can use this data then after that i'm going to actually uh, put it uh, on the data that i have here so this is the one that i'm already put it here so you have a platform and the other thing so just let me put it here so as you see that these are the one for android and the other so just save it and i put it 2020 till 2020 we have that one so this is the data that i have so now i'm back actually to the charticulator environment so here so uh, i'm going to click on the launch column here so we are going to get the data so the data should be a csv file as you see otherwise it's not able to recognize it then changing that here you can actually for the you see the columns here if you want to look at them you can just click on three dots here and see the data i want the date uh, should be a categorical not the ordinal so i can just click on this icon and change it to the category so now this is a data that's a place that actually i can put my uh, actual information over 
here so i'm going to uh, drag and drop a actually a column here should be something like this and i'm going to put the share for the each platform as a height of the each mark so you should see something like here and the date is going to be put for the x-axis and the platform for the uh, that was ios and the other ones can be go as a, a text for the each shape so you see that for example we have one two three four five six seven eight nine shapes that stands for different actually different platform so and here we have for different year you see the pattern has been uh, repeated by each one so also i don't want to see it like here is based on the stacks i want to see them based on the stack y and i want to sort them uh, actually based on the share that they have so now you can see that based on the share so the maximum one i think it should be android i will put the label text so you can see that so here you can actually share based on the different one so i uh, put it based on the actually uh, average of the share so this is a one so now it's good just make it a bit smaller i also want to put the label so for the each part of the data i want to put a label that's why i'm going to use this type of a text so we have two texts one of the text is just like the title of the chart so you can kind of change it so i can say mobile platform shares from 2014 to 2020 and just click on that so this is a uh, kind of the static share but you also can have share for the each point of the data that most of the times come with a glyph that actually shape is there so it should be uh, i can put it beside the chart so as you can see now i can have it for the each of them uh, i don't want to show it for the whole rows of the data so what i'm going to do i'm back to the here uh, on the text there is an option named visibility that means that uh, we can condition that that just showing for a specific value um because we have year for all of the data i choose the date and i'm saying that i don't want to show it for the each date because just one of them is enough just shows them for the first one so so it's just show is here you can use it instead of the legend so instead of putting a legend here for the different color you can use this approach and for the text i want to show the platform so show the platform over here that's actually android and the other you can also change the location whatever you actually want so and you can actually just make it a bit of space just make it like this or kind of doing that so these are the actually the charts that we have now i'm going to create the connections between them we want to see that how they change during the time i can create a line or i can create a bound based on the platform based on the platform that was android and the other so i'm going to create a link so now you can see that how is actually change during the time so you see that the all android always have that uh, for example this one is also the first three one actually is going so series four you see that is going up but suddenly is going down so you can see the changes and uh, kind of help you if you want to see the other one you can just minimize or maximize the other so you see that how is actually easy you can change all of the element here you can uh, kind of for example for the link this is line you can make it as a kind of make it as a bezier so you can click on link and change the type from line to bezier to make it a bit nicer uh, or just yeah so see that how you want to change it so you can make the gap smaller and see the data so this is not really good for nine rows of the data most of the time that we for example android has a lot so maybe uh, if uh, i just include uh, just top uh, four top of them because as you see here they have different behavior so maybe it's better just to analyze them in a separate 
chart however it's up to you you can change it and see that how it works so you see that how ribbon chart has been created you can change everything about that you can change the background so you can click on the charts and you see that in the background color you can change it to the black or whatever you actually want and change the other things the behind the scene so everything is actually you can change it you can change the color for example for the text you want that the color of the text be the same as the color in the chart so for example android should be uh, blue or ios should be dark blue so what i'm going to do instead of the color that is now is uh, black i'm going to drag and drop the color of the platform so you see that now they are in the same color as the bar here so you can change it anything here so if you want to change uh, everything or kind of the make it uh, customize make it the ribbon chart customized for yourself this is a way you can come to chart calculator and then same as the other chart calculator one that i'm explaining in the previous videos you can export it as a power bi visual put your own icon put the name of yours uh, and also the your email change the name of the visual and also put some of the attribute that user able to change some of the specification or change the name of the for example instead of the platform you want to put something else because you want to use it for different type of the data and this is all possible so this is a very very short video and very a uh, bright one uh, this chart already explained in a chart articulator gallery but uh, i just put my own experience about when i'm recreating and uh, because the data that we have here is not really uh, actually is not clean so i try to clean the data and redo and explain uh, what we have actually here so uh, as you see it's so similar to other charts um and you can see that the, one of the important things what about the stack uh, y and the x so they actually help us a lot to make the arrangement of the and uh, uh, the charts and uh, you will see in other videos that how i'm using for example grid or stack y x to create the different type of chart thanks so much for watching this video hope you enjoy it